Good evening. Hong Kong Today reported 67 new COVID-19 cases, including 63 locally acquired infections, a new daily record high. More than half of the local cases have unknown sources. The city's coronavirus tally now stands at 1,586, and the death toll has topped 10 after one more patient succumbed to the disease. Kena Chu reports. The city's latest wave of coronavirus outbreak took another ugly turn today, with the case count setting a new daily high and the death toll hitting the double-digit threshold. I, I cannot say that this is the peak. There's still a chance that uh, more cases are coming. Contributing to the escalation are two more people emerging from the Good Hope School infection cluster. That's in addition to a pair of Queen Elizabeth Hospital staff members, including a non-emergency ambulance service coordinator. Last seen at his job on Monday, the 46-year-old man had donned a face mask at work without coming into contact with any patients or wards. Joining him is a 56-year-old who was not present in the workplace when three cases earlier broke out at the hospital. She is believed to have contracted the virus from her area of residence in Tiwanshan, where epidemiologically linked cases have continued to emerge from Wenshan Restaurant, Green River Restaurant, and the Kong Tai Care for the Age Center. In the neighboring Wang Taisen area, some residents of Feng Tak Estate have yet to receive bottles for their deep throat saliva specimen collection. That's despite the public housing estate being what the government considers a high risk zone prioritized in virus screening efforts. Citing resource limitations, respiratory expert David Hui says citizens can dovetail with authorities' combat against COVID-19 by proactively dropping off specimens at both public and private clinics. Kena Chu, TVB News.